morning guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. I am so excited to have you guys joining me today. I'm a little disheveled. It's been a little bit of a crazy morning, actually a crazy last two weeks. But we're going to do a little bit on some Q&A and I'm going to update you on some really important information. So, how are you guys today? And what do you guys have going on? Good morning, Tammy. I would love to know what your plans are for the holidays and what you're most excited about. I am going to show you something that I'm most excited about. Um, we're always in a changing process. We always are finding what works best for us or trying to figure out what works best for us and we're constantly molding and shaping, I think. And I have been finding um, that my creativity this year has spurred so much since I decluttered things. And um, God keeps nudging me to embrace new things. So I'm going to, or embrace old things as well. So let me share something with you here. Okay, this is the She Cave. This, oops, sorry, there was a dog behind me there. Sorry, Mrs. Copper, come back. Okay, so this is normally my standing desk with my yoga ball underneath. There's Mrs. Copper. And um, I need to stand. Um, it's uncomfortable for me to sit since my illness, at least for a long period of time. Um, so I am very creative about my workspace. And this right here is an old dresser. Note that it has space at the floor. <laughs> They're running you over again, Mrs. Kind of hard to see. There's some space down here at the floor. So my feet have room to stand there so that I could use that also as a workspace. So this here is where I've now switched things to for my laptop and my iPad and electronic stuff. And I have cleared this space so that I can start being more creative. I have two little boxes, one antique and uh, one leather there that I house my uh, markers and all my different drawing pencils, my colored pencils, watercolors. And I have started diving in. This is also where I am spending time with God. I've been digging into the Message Bible just for kicks and giggles because it's really interesting to read that to me um, and just uh, get it in layman's terms rather than the these and the thous. But as you guys know, I also utilize the NLT version, which is uh, my journaling Bible. And absolutely love that. But I just thought I'd share with you, you know, it's... It's a really fun thing when you get back into finding yourself. And sometimes we lose ourselves. And I did. I've done that a couple times in my life. And I am learning how to regain myself through the chaos, through life changes, through the valleys. And I just want to encourage you guys today to embrace the things you love. Or to find things that you love. Because maybe that's a struggle. Maybe you've lost touch with what it is that you actually love doing. So I'm going to flip this back around and hopefully I won't be like right in your face. Okay, not too bad anyway. Okay, so I thought I'd share that because my office has been really morphing this year in a way that I'm trying to accommodate my needs, uh, give myself some freedoms and some comfort spots, and um, oh, I don't know. Just find a peaceful, peaceful place that I, not that my environment isn't peaceful, but a place that I can kind of take sanctuary and also um, really uh, get deep into me and not selfishly, but that I can be creative. And that's what I've been doing. And I, I came home yesterday and just felt the urge to just switch my space around. And I feel really good about it. Um, the Mountain Boy and I have been um, delving into a whole bunch of new things. And we will have a lot of new things on our website, in our, in our store. Um, our family does have a store by going to treyerwilderness.com slash store. You can see a few of the items that I've um, listed there right now. But we have a lot. And I am working on that store right now to get all of our um, items in there. The Mountain Man makes a lot of knives and leather work, um, all kinds of creative metal work. And um, the Mountain Boy does moccasins. We all kind of um, have our hand in leather work. Um, I've made baby booties and a bunch of different leather moccasins myself and bags and journal covers and all kinds of stuff. But I want to start doing something that I 
uh, have wanted to do for a long time, and that is to do some black ink work on um, animal bones. And I know that sounds crazy to some of you, but um, it's just something that I want to do and that I like to do. I like working with the antlers and making antler craft and different jewelry. So you will find a lot of new things spurring on the website coming the new year. Um, we didn't push things this uh, winter for the holiday season because we just aren't in a place to manufacture everything in a speedy way. Um, we just got too much going on. But this year we're going to really work on that. And I want to just encourage you to be creative. Um, it's just such a powerful thing. And really guys, my, crea my creativity comes from God. Um, while I am at this table, I am spending time with God, I am doing my devotions, I am reading or listening to the Bible app, and I want to encourage you guys to check out Bible.com. It's a great um, website, but you can also get the app for your smartphones, and you can have the chapters read to you, you can do all kinds of things, you can also um, fellowship with others on there. I'm on there as Tammy Treyer, so look me up, I would love to connect with you on there. It's just kind of inspiring um, and encouraging to see what other people are doing on there, what they are reading. Um, you can kind of you can you can set your settings so that people can see things, see what you want them to see, just like on Facebook. Um, I know Chad is on there. Chad and I are connected on there, um, and I, I ha I'm connected with quite a few people. So it's just another fun way to fellowship, which is what I'm going to lead into right here. Um, for those of you that are watching every week, if you find encouragement in any way um, with what I share, I would be so thrilled if you would share um, the, the, the live cast, whether while I'm live or when I'm finished, whichever you feel is best. But I would love for you to share what we are doing here because each week what I try to do is give you... Um, a homesteading or a, a life tip, uh, preparedness tip, and then also um, feed you uh, spiritually as well. Oh, awesome, Tammy. I would love to be connected with you on there. Um, yeah, the Bible app is just amazing, and I really, I really enjoy utilizing that. I've been on there for years, actually. Um, it's just nice when I'm on the go or when I'm out in the woods that I can do my devotions from anywhere. That's also part of it. That's why I got on there because sometimes I don't have my Bible with me, but I have the need and it's just an awesome way to, um, spend time with God. But for those of you that are new, um, to our channel, oh, Miss Copper, I keep running you over. I'm sorry. Um, my family and I live 100% off grid in Northern Idaho and we educate on our lifestyle. We are faith led and share on preparedness and homesteading, off-grid living, wilderness survival, autism. We have a very broad spectrum of things that we share. And we enjoy um, reaching people, sharing our knowledge, and also learning from others. You know, we don't know everything, um, but what we do know we love to share. And we are, are also sponges for knowledge. We also educate at TreyerWildernessAcademy.com. And you can find us there offering free classes as well as uh, paid classes. And uh, right now you can go over there and take our free bread baking course um, if you are looking to learn how to make your own breads and, or perfect making bread. Sometimes people struggle with that. So there's a video there and lots of tips and tricks and I encourage you to stop on over there and join me. And... Um, you can find us on all the social media, and every Wednesday at 10.30 Pacific Standard Time, normally, I was a little late today, um, the guys were hustling around to get out of here to go to work. Uh, my mountain man has a trap line that we've been checking, so things are getting a little crazier than normal. Normally, 10.30 is not a problem, but today it was. Uh, so check us out. We're always online. We're always available. And we also have a YouTube channel for you guys out there, The Mountain Man. All of us have videos, but The Mountain Man's back on there, and I'm really excited about that. So go, go on over to YouTube and check that out. But today I want to talk about a couple things that I've that's really been uh, pointed out to me um, over the last two weeks. Um, I, I went to an eye doctor appointment on the 7th of December and had drops put in my eyes that caused an anaphylaxis reaction and I was down started 
feeling somewhat semi-normal on Saturday, and then um, it started kicking in again on Sunday, and by Monday, I was all swelled up again um, this Monday. So I had to go for a treatment, and my lymphatic system was extremely clogged, and I am very thankful to have an angel in my location here that can help me when I am struggling like this. But I was down, and you know, the enemy takes opportunities to really rattle our cage when we have moments of weakness. And one of the things I've mentioned to you guys before, that I absolutely love my opportunities to spend time with you guys on here. My podcast kind of went to the wayside this year. The website a little bit went to the wayside. We tried to keep videos going on YouTube. But this is something that really nurtured me, as well as I believe nurtured many of you. And it was it was brought to my attention through my devotions and different things over the last two weeks that that is what we, as Treyer Wilderness, I believe, are called to do. Um, one of the big questions we get asked all the time is what made us embark on this journey and live this lifestyle and live so far back in away from everything. And we've had people also mention to us, you know, that we're called to fellowship and you guys don't come out very often. <laughs> And we don't. Um, we do go to church on Sundays, but during the winter months, um, it gets a little crazy. Our driveway is a mile long, and it's been nothing but a sheet of ice for the last week because we had a, a warm temperatures come in, and everything froze. Hey, good morning, Chad, and good morning, Mona, Mama Mona. Glad to have you joining me. Um, so, you know, we kind of stay... stay Day secluded in the winter months. Uh, we get a lot of snow. It doesn't get, um, you know, it's not real easy to get in and out. And rather than, you know, waste gas and risk of, you know, vehicle damage, we just kind of stay put. But there is a really extreme importance for fellowship and community. And I know that that is why this has been something that has been really on my heart this year to really focus on and to really um, stay steadfast with our live videos. And I know that they get long and I want to ask you guys to kind of help me out this week and do a little uh, survey for me and just answer for me. Would you rather have shorter videos or are the long ones okay? Because I would be happy to cater to your needs. They used to be a half an hour, but they I just kind of go with where I'm led on these and the communic and the conversations. But I would be happy to make them shorter so that you guys are able to attend more or be more active, whichever. So let me know on that, okay? But I really believe that God is leading me in the direction of keeping these going and also to do a couple new things this year with this because the community that's forming and the fellowship I I gain so much and I I am just so honored and humbled that so many people have reached out over the last couple months asking for specific prayers and and needing nurturing and and also sharing how these live videos are helping also for me to see so many of you loving up on each other that is just so awesome and seeing the friendships that are forming so you know, this is, this is our ministry, and I am, like, just so, so pleased about it. I am Miss Mona. I am wearing your necklace. Miss Mona gave me this. Mama Mona gave me this, and it is just, I love it. I love dragonflies, and I love hearts. If you, I'm going to just share this real quick. This is kind of funny. See all those dragonflies and the hearts? <laughs> there's one the mountain man made for me when we were out camping. And there's a little note from him. You know, you can be married for years and years, and you know what? Those notes are just so powerful. I love it. I love it. Okay, so Tammy says, I am good with either length. Okay, and and um, I think there may be more videos popping in, shorter ones, that this will be like my main ministry, our community, our fellowship each week, and then maybe I'll be popping in with shorter videos here and there from sh for some lessons or doing that on YouTube. I haven't decided that yet, but God inspired me with some new ideas this morning, and I wanted to blow them past you. But how many of you 
feel the connection and and feel the importance of community and fellowship you know sometimes we get caught up in our struggles we get caught up in our sicknesses we get caught up in life and the busyness and and the thing i miss the most is my time with god and that fellowshipping time with friends, like I, I had girlfriends back in Pennsylvania that I would see every week. We'd go for breakfast or we would go antiquing or both. And um, it's just powerful when you can be with other people. They inspire you. You inspire them. And I think that this is our way of doing that here online because life is busy sometimes. Not everybody can get out and about. You know, and for us, like, I don't have money to waste extra fuel. I don't have money to go to the coffee shop. But I can sit here with my cup of coffee and enjoy from the comforts of my home our community. And I want to make our community, our community is not just about me. It's not just about Trey or Wilderness. A community is about all the members. And that is what God has really been putting on my heart this week and these last two weeks. And especially this morning with some of the things he was sharing and I feel that you guys are the heroes also in this story. And I'm going to start bringing that out. As a matter of fact, later today I'm going to share our um, hunting season um, with a post from Instagram. And I'm going to um, encourage you guys to add to that because I know many of you were out hunting this season. Many of you had celebrations and I want you to celebrate with me and share what you guys are celebrating for this season also. It's really important. You know, we've got to celebrate each other. We all have um, ups and downs. We all have great things to celebrate and that's what we got to bring to the table and we got to share and we got to build each other. And that's where this is also going to lead today is not only the importance of that fellowship, but the importance of um, building each other and serving. You know, I talked all year about finding happiness and joy, and I gave you guys ideas on how to do that. And one of the biggest ways we can do that is stepping out of ourselves and focusing on others. And it is just such a powerful, powerful tool. It, it can bring you out of sickness. It can bring you out of a low place. And um, it, can, it, it can build you from a great place to a greater spot. So serving others is important. And this time of year, you know, it's, it's something that uh, we could easily do. There are so many ways we could serve others this time of year. And some of it may mean stepping out of our comfort zones. Um, a couple years back, um, I made the guys, well, they insisted on joining me for starters because of what I wanted to accomplish. But there is an area in um, Washington State where there's a lot of homeless. And um, they, they uh, all uh, reside in a very... Um, unusual place. Uh, for the average person, it's an uncomfortable place. Um, it's kind of dark and a little scary, but my intentions were to go in there and I would have loved to have taken a, a, a hot meal that all these people could enjoy. And keep in mind, there, there were all ages, toddlers on up to, um, you know, seniors and older, um, in this space, living in tents, living in boxes. And, um, you know, it's it was a humbling experience, and but it was also a scary experience because these are people that are street smart and um, live off the streets, and that doesn't make them bad people. But you know, there is a level of um, an element, a certain element of these people that are um, you know know very well how to take care of themselves, and uh, so. The guys didn't want me going there by myself, and I will be honest, I'm glad that I didn't go by myself, but I am glad that we went. And we took, um, I think it was 40 or 50 pounds of apples to share, and they were wonderful apples. They are honey crisps that we get from a, a local fella, and they are just fresh off the farm, um, non-sprayed apples, and they are just wonderful. And, uh, you know, you do what you can, and you help where you can, and... That was a really good experience for the mountain boy and, and a good experience for us all. Like I said, it was very humbling. And if I could have bring, brought them all home 
and, and let them, you know, share on our homestead and live in our cabin, I would have. Um, but we have to do what we're called to do. And when we're nudged and that nudge is given to us and we disregard it, we're, we're disregarding the Holy Spirit working in us. So, and a lot of times, like I said, it's because of uncomfortableness, of not being willing to step out of a comfort zone. And um, I want to encourage you guys to do that more this year. We are working this year on new beginnings. And I am excited about these new beginnings because new beginnings is very broad. New beginnings is going to cover a lot. And we're all going to end up in a really awesome place with our new beginnings because we're going to do it together. We're going to fellowship and have the community to do it together. And I would love to know how many of you are going to join me this new year with the new beginnings and, and our community that we're building. So let me know in the comments and let me know with some hearts and some love that this is something that is exciting to you too, not just exciting to me. And I also don't want you to be intimidated or concerned about your walk with God um, because it's different than mine. Um, when I say that God is leading me and God is talking to me, I really mean that. Um, but that's where my walk is with God because I've enhanced it so much and I've drawn into it so much. That when I'm in devotions and, and I'm in a quiet place, I can, I can hear Him talking to me. Um, and maybe sometimes when I hear Him talking to me, it's the ideas that just all of a sudden start flying through my head. That if I don't quick write in Evernote... And, and, and record this stuff that it's lost and that he goes so fast sometimes. It's really sometimes overwhelming all the things he shares with me at one time. And then other times it's quiet. But I don't want you to feel like your walk with God is different or somehow jaded because you're not in the same place I am. What I want to encourage you to do is keep pulling into him because the more you pull into him, the closer that walk comes. And the more you hear, the more you feel, the more you know, the more you crave it. And it's just a really awesome place to be. So I want to just encourage that. And on the lines of serving, I shared a uh, photo of my Mountain Man Jr. on Instagram this morning that should have fed onto Facebook as well. It's a picture of him and his dog. And it was actually from last Christmas. It's a great picture of him, though. And it really depicts to me... Um, the quote that I shared on it. The quote is, if you treat a person as he is, he'll stay that way. But if you treat him as what he ought to be, he'll become what he ought to be and could be. And that's by uh, Goeth. And that is just so true. And that's so true for all of us. Not just um, my mountain boy junior who um, is bigger than autism and bigger than life. I mean, that boy has overcome so much. I'm so proud of him. I'm so excited uh, with what God is doing in his life. And I know it's a result of us pushing him out of his comfort zone, encouraging him, and seeing in him things he didn't see. And, you know, guys, that's what we can do for everybody. You know, that includes the homeless. You know, so many of the people that are on the streets have such amazing stories. I saw a video the other day on YouTube of a, I believe he was an, uh, an ex-Marine, but he came back and um, I believe he lost his family and he just ended up on the streets. And this man had so much going for him and he has been able to turn it around because somebody, I forget what state he was in, but they put out, I think Indiana. They put out free uh, pianos on the streets to see what people would do with them. And he was a gifted pianist and played different instruments. And the video was of him playing on the streets and people heard him. And he got a recording. Uh, uh, he, he recorded an album. He, he got solicited. And through that was able to turn his life around. And, you know, there's so many people... You know, we, we could end up homeless um, in our circumstances. And, you know, it doesn't matter where we are in life, what our walk was, what our walk is. Um, it's what we can offer the world in, in that location. 
and um, I just you know we we have to stop judging kind of put blinders on and stop judging the world and just start helping the world and serving it you know we can make such a difference one step at a time one day at a time by making the effort to improve somebody else's life even if that is a good friend and it just means being there for them and lifting them on a day that you know um, the world is rocking their world you know uh, I don't know. I hope you get what I'm saying, and I hope you get what I'm what's coming from my heart today. It's just I've had so many things cross my desk this week, and I just know that everything is coming down to the importance of us serving, um, and the importance of having a community, and and a close knit community that we can go to, and, and that we have, and that in through that community we have the ability to invite others in that it's not this closed tight-knit group not that it can't be but that I mean that you know we're gonna be tight but we are gonna be such a bright light that we are gonna draw others to us and that because we are doing things for the right reason that that we have open arms you know that we are never uh, that we will always have blinders on and and not be judging but loving and that's that's my goal that is my goal with the community that I want to create the new year and what I intend to do with it and in the process teach you guys homesteading wilderness survival and just life you know we all go through life and some days are rough um, some days the enemy is really attacking he was doing that to me last week making me question what I'm doing why I'm doing it you know, and thankfully Mama Mona gave me the encouragement I needed yesterday to uh, rethink and revisualize where I'm at. And this is the byproduct of that. So thank you, Mama Mona. But, oh, and I almost forgot. Guys, I was talking about my boy um, last, last week. Actually, no, it was the 7th, the same day that we had the eye doctor appointment. Um, we were part of a collaboration of other homesteaders on YouTube that did a collaboration on, it's called Kids Simple Living and Special Challenges. And uh, the video is uh, linked below. And I encourage you to go watch it. If you know other people, good morning, Cindy. If you know other people that have... Um, children with special needs uh, you know we spoke about autism um, there were a lot of different um, type type 2 diabetes uh, was another one and oh goodness I'm I'm actually forgetting what uh, Teal House Farms little girl has but um and forgive me Laura that I'm zoning out on that but there's a playlist on our YouTube channel that is called kids uh, special channel uh, simple living and special challenges and also that so that links it up so you can watch all the videos right from there or you can find our video and using the link below and in the description you can link to the other channels but it was farm alarm and uh, Teal House Farm and there were two others but I don't think they were able to contribute it's a crazy time and so I don't think they were able to contribute at the time but we put this together in hopes of reaching and helping others um, with uh, special needs on the homestead and the benefits of it uh, we've we've gained so much by homesteading with our mountain man junior and just to see him come out of his autism shell and how much he's overcome and what we were able to teach him and the lifestyle we were able to create in a crazy mixed up world, which is just really awesome to me. So be sure to check that out and share it with others. And uh, guys, if you have any prayer requests, prayer needs, if you know others that are in need of prayers right now, please don't hesitate to uh, mention them in the comments. If you're fearful of mentioning the details, don't worry about that. Just mention that you need prayer. That's all we need to know. And I have amazing prayer warriors, uh, Tammy and Chad and I know Mona um, and, and Papa Ken. 
our good prayer warriors also. Um, and I'd like to ask special prayers for Tammy Richards, who is joining us today. Um, Tammy and her family lost their father-in-law over the weekend, and uh, it's just such a tender time of year, and uh, just I, I know they could use some extra love and prayers, so please don't hesitate to lift them. Our prayer requests are getting so long that I am I am just so excited about that. So down below in the description are all the prayer needs. I encourage you to include them in your daily devotions and your daily prayers. And like I said, if you need prayers, please don't hesitate to ask. You can also private message me if you need somebody. You know, if you're really in a low spot, really in a bad place, please don't ever hesitate to reach out to me. Um, I feel that's part of my ministry too, and I always take time. So you can email me at survive at treyerwilderness.com, or you can always private message me through Treyer Wilderness. Um, something else I want to mention too is that we are going to start using um, our group. I don't know how this is going to go because it's me and 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 just me. <laughs> I don't have any help running um, the show right now, so I've got a lot on my plate, and I'm going to open the um, group up. It, the reason I said it might be a little tricky, and I'm not sure how it's going to go, is because in using the group, that enables us all to share very openly, to communicate with one another, to share our excitement, to share our needs. Um, I'm just concerned that I may not be able to keep up or that I may not be able to um, monitor things enough. So we're going to try it. And I'm going to put the link in the description below and in the comments below when we're finished here. I couldn't pull that off of my iPad and I hadn't turned on my laptop for the day. So we're going to start using that. And um, I would love your feedback on what you think of it. We're going to keep the Treyer Wilderness page going, and I'm going to share on there, but I'm going to start sharing heavily in the group. And if you haven't joined, I'd like you to join in there, and I'd like that to become our place for community so that we can um, be a better light and maybe uh, draw a bigger, bigger audience and... Um, We'll just see what's going to happen. That's what God led me to do this morning. So the group is created. I just haven't been using it. It's been filling up with people. Now we're going to start using it. And moving into the new year, we're going to use it. So bear with me if I'm not as responsive as I should be. Uh, I do the podcast. I do our website. I do our YouTube videos and all the editing. I do this. And I also write. And also our newsletter. And if you haven't joined our newsletter, please do so. TreyerWilderness.com slash newsletter. I would love to have you guys join us. Um, that gives me a sure way to connect with you. If Facebook or YouTube or all of that were to drop off the face of the earth, I still have a means of connecting with you. Now, um, what are what are you guys excited about for the holidays? What is your um, biggest excitement? Uh, what are... What are the things that you think of most when you think of Christmas time. I think of um, the extreme gift God has given us by giving us his son at this time of year and knowing what that means. Um, that is just huge. You know, as a mother, it's really hard to imagine, you know, you sacrificing your son for people that, you know, like myself, that aren't worthy of of that kind of a sacrifice it's really pretty heavy to think about and at the same time it's a gift to us that we need to nurture and be thankful for you know and and that's what we are we we really um, get really heart struck this time of year and really this year has been quite something for us and it has been a really really grim valley for us but at but I, when I look back, I don't see any of that. I just see the extreme blessings that we've received. And one of the things we do Christmas Day is that we kind of go around and we all share the highlights from our year, the things that have really stuck out to us, the blessings, and just what we are so grateful for. And it's pretty powerful. Um, we do that at the dinner table a lot, too. But... Uh, when you really recap on a year, especially a year like ours, I know that this year is going to be really, really something. And I just, I just feel truly blessed because 
Um, when you really put your trust in God, and we've been in a place where we've had nothing to do but put our complete and total faith and trust in God and wait on the outcome and trust it. And it's a really, really awesome place to be. So what are you, what are you, things that you guys look forward to? I, I would love for you to share. Um, this is where I need you guys to fill me in. If you're watching the replay, if you're watching on YouTube, please share with me. It's just neat to see what people get of it. And you know, if this is a hard time for you, don't be afraid to share that too, because that just gives us something to pray for you, you know, with. And it's understood that it's hard for a lot of people. Um, I'm sure with Tammy right now, things are, are not easy. And, uh, you know, and there's a lot of people that have gone through tough, tough things this year, you know, loss of loved ones and, uh, just maybe total devastation in their lives. And maybe, you know, they don't have that community and, and that fellowship with other people to bring them and lift them. So, you know, if you do have, this is a hard time for you, don't, don't be afraid to share that because you're not adding doom and gloom. You're just giving us a purpose and, and a, a, someone to pray for. Uh, and, and it's, you know, and it's being honest and owning that. And, you know, that's important too. So down below, there's a lot of links. Um, with my last two weeks and my situation with my health, there have been books I've shared over the past that I keep on hand. And I want to just remind you, these are great things to ask for as a gift. Um, but they're great to have on hand. And these are where a lot of my resources and my information comes from. Um, also just, I've been involved in natural health since I'm 14. So I have lots of years. <laughs> I'm aging myself, but I will be 49 in January. So, you know, it's a long time to gain knowledge and it's just so awesome to be able to have that knowledge. And that's what I, I'm always wanting to encourage you guys to do is be a sponge and um, always looking for new knowledge. It's just so powerful. And also record it. Chad knows as well as I do how powerful and wonderful Evernote is. You can store so much in Evernote and have that resource at your fingertips. And uh, the books are Herbally Yours, which is down below. Um, Be Your Own Doctor is another one. And there's also a free herbalist course that is available to you. And um, through um, that course and on that website, there are a lot of uh, discounts right now for the holidays. 25% off their courses and a lot of new things coming. So uh, please check them out. They are a huge resource. I have gained a lot of knowledge. I've taken quite a few of their courses. And my goal is to become certified and have as much knowledge as I can gain um, in the herbal arena. And they are my go-to resource. And that is something that will be continuing. That is something where I feel we can always learn. There's always something new to learn. There's just so much information out there and I really feel like God put everything we need in our environment to heal ourselves so keep that in mind but check out these resources there's also modern essentials which is a great uh, essential oil resource and guide and then as far as uh, getting your uh, oils as well but I would be lost without having my herbal pantries one of these days I'm gonna have to show you all of my herbal uh, remedies as well as my pantries because I showed you the one where I have all my loose herbs but I've got like three more it's just something that is a big it's as big if not bigger than our food pantry and our food pantry is very extensive so it's important to have what you need on hand so keep that in mind. And also, one of the things that has been added over the last couple of weeks is our Amazon resources. I'm always mentioning things that we utilize, that we, um, and, and I don't promote things unless we use them and we see great value in them and it's quality products because there is nothing worse for us with um, being as frugal as we are in wasting our money on um, bogus products. So... I started creating an Amazon store where I have everything that I talk about, everything we use, everything that we um, have, 
listed in that store. It's not complete, but it is um, extensive. So, um, and I will be continuing to add to that. So you can find that by going to amazon.com slash shop slash Treyer Wilderness and the links below. And that also helps support our channel. Um, there's a lot of ex expenses to keep things going. So the, you don't pay any more, but a per small percentage of your purchases come back to us. And that's really helpful. Uh, let's see. I also have my inspirational playlist down below on Spotify and links to my Inspire Bible as well as my devotional. I just realized that the link for the Inspire Bible might be incorrect. It's missing the E on the end. So if you go to check that and you don't get it, um, just add an E to the end of that. But guys, I, I hope that you feel the community and the fellowship that I do through our gatherings. And I hope you are gaining from this so much. Um, I just I just feel very um, lifted by your comments, by your presence, by the knowledge you guys share. And um, I just really think that's important. Like I said, we aren't the heroes to the story. You guys are. And um, we are just doing what we feel led to do. And it just makes my heart sing to see the community that we are creating. So I just look really forward to see what God's going to do with that in 2019. Um, also, I wanted to let you guys know, I am not going to be live next Wednesday, the 26th, because I'm sure your families will be home, you'll be busy, and I am going to take some time with my guys, and uh, we're going to take a couple days. We might do some winter camping, in which case you will see footage on that on our YouTube channel. Um, that is something we love to do, as long as we aren't getting uh, hit with all the rain. The other day we were supposed to get uh, between a foot and two feet of snow, and we got the equivalent of that in rain. So, um, not that I'm a fair weather camper, but it certainly would be nice to, to camp in that amount of snow versus rain. We've also gotten a lot of winds. The winds here have been insane. Uh, we have a pin in the ground that um, we tie off our solar panel to, and last night the winds were so bad that it actually pulled the pin out of the ground, which is really scary. That's a lot of money hanging on the, the um, frame, and it was extremely windy. Um, that could have been also because of the excess amount of moisture we have in the ground. I'm not sure, but it's still alarming. So um, I just want to leave you guys with a bunch of thoughts. One is that... Um, Truly, when you serve others, you gain such a joy and happiness that doesn't compare to any amount of wealth in this world. Um, and when it comes time to giving this season, you know, we don't have funding to gift and to give. But we can give of ourselves, and that is really powerful. And not only does it help the other person, but it helps us as well. Um, and the only way you're going to understand what I mean by that is to try it. So uh, how many of you enjoy serving and, and that's something that you do regularly? I would love to know. Also, um, I want, I want to share these Bible verses with you. They've been on our channel and on the, um, list for a long time. I go back to them a lot, um, and, and they're ones I'd love for you guys to bookmark. Psalms 40, 1 through 3, I waited patiently for the Lord, and He turned to me and heard my cry for help. He brought me up from the desolate pit, out of the muddy clay, and set my feet on a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. And, and guys, you know, we've been walking through a really wicked valley, but you know what? There's so much to be said about that, and uh, I just don't know how to explain it to you other than that putting trust in God is such a powerful tool for life and living. And this is my hope and prayer for you guys. Number 6, 24 through 26. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. You know, the next time I see you will be uh, January 2nd. 
Uh, as of right now, I'm planning to do uh, my live video then, but stay tuned. If I change that, it will be posted in advance on the Facebook page. But I want to read something else to you. Um, this was pretty powerful. This was today's devotional from uh, the Word for You Today. And it's Luke 17, 17. Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? It's called How to Be Made Whole. Let's read how Jesus healed these ten lepers and see what can be learned. One, they seized the moment. They lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Desperate people pray desperate prayers. Who cares about propri propriety and outward appearances when, we're when you're dying? These men realized that Jesus was passing through, and the worst thing that could happen was for him to pass them by. So they seized the moment and cried out to him, and you can do that too, because nobody can hear you like God. Two, they had to walk it out. Their healing wasn't immediate. It was a step-by-step -step process. And so it was that they went. They were cleansed. Often, that's the way it works. And it's not just one step, but a commitment to plow through the obstacles and fears until you get to your miracle. But it's worth the effort, and you appreciate the, your deliverance more when you have to walk it out day by day, depending on God. I can attest to that, guys. It's amazing. It really is. It's really amazing. Three, only one out of the ten returned to give thanks. And that's why Jesus asked, Where are the nine? Were they too busy or too self-absorbed or just forgetful? Notice what Jesus said to the one who came back. Thy faith has made thee whole. Physical healing is often accomplished through medicine. But you become whole in body, mind, and soul by spending time worshiping the Lord and getting to know Him. And, I'm going to add to that, being thankful. You know, there's so much that we could have complained and, you know, grumbled about this year. But you know what? I, I don't even remember that stuff. I remember the things that I was blessed with and the things that I need to be thankful for. And, you know, before we do anything, we thank God for what He's doing in our lives. And oftentimes, before we even do that... We thank Him for what He's going to do. We thank Him in advance because we know that He's going to take care of us. And, you know, that's part of this journey is realizing what we need to be thankful for and doing that. So, I know this was a big mishmash of a lot of stuff. And the question and answer was, you know, the part of that was that so many people question why we do what we do and why we're here and you know the best answer I can give you is that we were led here and that there was so much purpose in this good morning Holly there was so much purpose in us being here and you know um, one of the quotes I saw yesterday is that um, life is lived forward but it's understood by looking back and you know that's so true because so much of our lives we don't understand why things are happening. But when we take that time to look back, you can see how all the dots are connected. And there are so many reasons why we've been brought here. And I see what God is doing every day in our lives and how he's growing each and every one of us. Right now he's building the Mountain Man Junior in such a huge way. He's got some amazing amazing things to share in the new year and God is working there and the mountain man is constantly being molded and shaped and being used his trap line is something where he has his ministry and his community forming and and God is constantly building and growing me I am we're always we're the clay and he's the potter and it's just so amazing to see that and you know I, I'm just, like I said, the reason we're here is because we were led here. And thankfully we listened and followed. And I just want you guys to be willing to serve and to pull into Him, to learn how to pray and not be afraid to, and to learn to be a Christian that um, wears your Christianity on your sleeve, that you're not afraid of what other people are going to think because you are a Christian and because you are open about it you know we are in a society today where you know 
there's so much of that because in other countries you have to be afraid to speak his name because it could mean death and we aren't there yet and I, I am not going to stop and even if that we would get to that place I wouldn't stop I just want to see you guys grow in your faith and in your trust and and be able to walk that out I just feel that that's so important to be able to not only talk the talk but walk it and I just felt so led to share all this today and you know it's an important time like I said you know God brought Jesus into this world knowing that he would be sacrificing him for us. Do you realize how powerful that is? That's just so amazing. And we've been given the gift of prayer. You know, it's not something that we have to go to somebody else to go to him. We don't have to go through anybody. In the Old Testament, they had to go through people. You know, we can just go directly to him. And, you know, some people aren't sure what that looks like. And, you know, it's just something as simple as speaking to him just like I'm speaking to you and you know I have wanted to do this for such a long time and I feel today is the perfect day for me to do this and end in this um, I believe this is the same as in every months or every every one of these we get there's um, an ending that I feel I need to read and I'm going to read this today and then I'm going to close. Uh, it, would, it would mean the world to me to know that I brought just one person closer to God through what I do. So, three reasons why you need Jesus. Jesus love, loves you. He desires to have a relationship with you and to give you a life full of joy and purpose. Why do you need him in your life? One, because you have a past. You can't go back, but he can. The Bible says Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever, and forever in Hebrews 13, 8. He can walk into those places of sin and failure, wipe the slate clean, and give you a new beginning. That's pretty cool. I, didn't, I haven't looked at this in a while. I just know it's back here. Two, because you need a friend. Jesus knows the worst about you, yet he believes the best, and he loves you for it. Why? Because he sees you not as you are, but as you will be when he gets through with you. What a friend. And how cool is that? That is actually very similar to the quote I shared today. So that's just really awesome. I'm glad. See, God is leading me. God leads me through each and every one of these. Three, because he holds the future. Who else are you going to trust? In his hands you are safe and secure today, tomorrow, and for all of eternity. His word says, for I know the plans I have for you, plans for good and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. In those days when you pray, I will listen. Jeremiah 29, 11, and 12. If you'd like to begin a personal relationship with Jesus today, please pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my life. I believe you died for me and that your blood pays for my sins and provides me with the gift of eternal life. By faith I receive that gift and I acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. It's that simple, guys. So if you aren't close to Jesus, you can be. And don't feel like you are not worthy because none of us are. We've all sinned, we've all made mistakes, and truly we all need him. And there is no greater walk and no greater place than under his wings. And trust me when I say that. So if you haven't taken him, there is your opportunity to. Okay? And like I said, you can reach out to me anytime. Uh, you can email me at survive at treyerwilderness.com. You can personal message me through Treyer Wilderness. And, um... I wanted to mention this too. If you need a Bible or you know somebody that does, I was talking to my pastor and um, there was a church that was planning to get rid of all their Bibles and he is getting access for me to them so that if there are people that need them and can't afford one, um, we'll figure something out and a way to get you one. Consider that part of my ministry too. And like I said, you can always go to Bible.com if you uh, have access to a computer or uh, 
have a smartphone, you can get the app, and you can also uh, friend me on there. Just look up Tammy Trayer. You'll see my picture. And uh, another great way to fellowship, to see what is inspiring each other. Uh, good morning, Terry. I hope all is going well for you. Good to see you joining me. Guys, I'm going to say a prayer of closing here. And I'm just thankful for you joining me and taking the time out of your busy days. Dear Father, I come to you today. I am just so thankful for all these people that join me each week. I am thankful for what you do through me each week and just love what you've been guiding me to share. Just, uh, it's very humbling and I'm just honored that you've chosen me t for this path. I know that you have purpose in everything. I know you led us here with great intention, great intention, and you've guided us this year to live with intention and to share that with others. And I know that you are guiding me to begin a new year with new beginnings, and that is to be our theme. And I know you will guide and direct me through that process. But Lord, I just ask that you wrap your loving arms around everyone here, everyone watching, the replay, everyone that is part of all of our communities, Lord, because they all need something, whether it's cheer, whether it's love, whether it's happiness, whether it's healing, whether it's uplifting, whether it's courage. You offer all those things, and you offer us hope, and you offer us love, and you offer us a place where we can take comfort, and you give us somebody that we can trust. You are somebody that we can trust with every part of ourselves and everything that we go through. And I just want to encourage everybody to have the strength and the courage to put their trust in you and to find a great reward that our family has found through you. And Lord, I just ask that you wrap your loving arms around all of our prayer requests and thank you so much for what you have done in so many of their lives. Not only do we get their messages uh, requesting prayer, but we get their messages of celebration on how you have worked in their lives and worked the miracles and answered the prayers. And there are so many more, even some present today, that are asking for miracles, Lord. And I know that through you, those miracles can be accomplished. And I just ask that you work in these people's lives, lift these people, heal those that are in need, love those, and reunite those that need reuniting. Lord, you are the miracle worker. You are the one that we can ask for anything and that we can talk to like a friend because you are our friend. And Lord, I just encourage our audience to just be able to have that relationship with you and to be bold this year and to create new beginnings of boldness with you in their lives. And Lord, I just ask that you bless everyone through this holiday season, keep everyone safe, and may they remember the reason for the season, the birth of your son. And Lord, I just thank you for what you are going to do in all of our lives and in this country. And Lord, I just ask that you put your healing hand over our country and just help our leaders and guide our leaders, guide our pastors, and just lift them and, and give them courage to continue to serve you. And Lord, just thank you for what you do in me each week and what you are molding with the clay and you are the potter. Lord, I just thank you. I thank you so much for all that you're going to do. And I just ask this in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen. Okay, guys. I want to wish you a very blessed and Merry Christmas. And I want to wish you an amazing new year. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be pretty. There's going to be struggles. There's going to be all kinds of crazy things that are going to happen. But remember this too. There's going to be crazy miracles and crazy blessings along the way. And we all know where we can get you know, our peace and our comfort, our happiness, our joy, our hope, and our love. So just remember that and don't be afraid to pull in. Don't be afraid to seek it. And uh, I just thank you. 
for your friendship, for your fellowship, for your community, and for just being a part of Trayer Wilderness. And we just, I know as a family, we all feel the same way. So just thank you. We love you. Have a very Merry Christmas, and I will see you in the new year. God bless.